just left for Taipei in late 2012 to work on her first Mandarin album, Ming Day, and is proven to be a trip worth a while. Just look at the number of likes on her official Facebook page. It says it all. The number of likes on your Facebook page has soared to more than a hundred thousand, right? More than a hundred thousand. So, what was the number before you went to Taiwan, actually? I I don't remember. I think about twenty thousand、yeah. or something. So it's a fivefold jump or more than that. It's so, it's been crazy. I'm just、right. so grateful that、mm-hmm. even though I've been in the industry for such a short period of time, that I have so much support,、mm-hmm. and I'm just so happy that I can continue sharing my music with more and more people. And I'm so glad that people like it. <laughs> right. Okay. So give us a better idea of how popular you are in Taiwan. Um, in Taiwan. I get people who recognize me, but normally they don't come up to me. And、mm. uh, my assistant there told me that everyone's very pisce. They're very like <laughs> they're very shy because they're worried that、okay. if they ask me, it, it turns out not to be me. They get really embarrassed. Apparently,、oh, right. so it's it's good. And it's it's quite good though because I get to live my own life and、mm-hmm. um, yeah. The twenty-year-old former teenage icon winner also found her stay in Taiwan more pleasant than she expected. Was it intimidating attending, you know, some of the、uh, variety shows or you know radio shows and all? Because they speak so fast in Mandarin, and some of their presenters are known to be rather acid tongue, right? I was actually very, very lucky. Every single radio station I went to, all the、um, DJs were really, really nice. I think they made an effort to speak more slowly for me and. Pick more simpler words to use, but it's definitely very, very intimidating.、Um, I went there with a, a huge notebook full of notes just in case I like freaked out. And、um, but it was good. It was like you kind of have to put yourself out there and give yourself that sort of stress to improve. So、mm-hmm. it was really a good experience. Had anyone been unkind to you in Taiwan? No one. No, no one. Okay. Actually,、okay. I was very lucky. Like before I went to Taiwan, some people were like, "Watch out! Some people might try to trip you up."、Mm-hmm. Um, People speak very fast there, but I think when I got there, like everyone was, it was quite like Singapore. Everyone was really, really friendly. <laughs> Do you get a sense that you know it's really competitive in the Taiwanese pop industry? Yes, I think there's so many talented people out there,、mm-hmm. and those people、yeah. producing their own music and getting out their stories. I think it's very competitive all the time. But all I can do is、um, try my hardest, and、um, well, I'm doing what I love doing, and I love sharing my stories with people. And I hope that、mm. people just enjoy my music. You seem to have lost weight. Oh, thank you. That's <laughs> a good thing.、Um, yeah. I think it's a mixture of stress, and especially for music videos and such, they want、um, people generally. I, I guess、mm. end up losing weight. Um, I wasn't really watching what I was eating, kind of just working lots.、Mm-hmm. But、um, I'm really glad now that after the music videos and everything been done, I've kind of put back a little bit of weight, so I look more normal again. <laughs> <laughs> It won't be long before Ming sets off to Taiwan again to make her presence felt there. But before she goes, she would like to recommend you this song. This song basically talks about、um, my first experience moving away from home and going to boarding school in England. And at that time, I thought it would be really fun, you know, a new place, a new experience. But I ended up missing my family a lot.、Um, It was really hard making friends there because a lot of people thought it was very weird. Like the Chinese didn't think I was fully Chinese, and the British didn't think I was fully British. So I spent a lot of time in my room by myself, crying. <laughs> But、um, when that happened, I just thought about my grandma's words and what she told me. My ama always said that every fall is a way to get up, a way to become stronger. So. At the end, I was so glad I didn't give up. I didn't go home. I knew it was my mom and dad's hard-earned money that they used to send me to boarding school, and I ended up making really good friends and getting really good exam results. So,、um, the meaning behind the song basically is: well, when people listen to it, I really hope that they can take away that you shouldn't give up. <laughs> <laughs> 